Hello folks, Dave's RV channel here. Well, have I got something cool for you today. I have a Salem Light by Forest River. It's a 180RT. And the cool thing about that is, this is a toy hauler. So we're gonna go in here and see what this thing's all about. Y'all come with me. Oh, and by the way, I don't work for this company that makes it. I don't work for the company that sells it. I work for myself and I'm gonna show you this RV just from uh, an RV guy's point of view. I'm not trying to say I'm a professional by no stretch. I've just done a lot of research on RVs over the years and own several of them. So uh, what I wanna do is I just wanna show you this RV from my point of view, the good and the bad that I see of it. So let's go in there and check this thing out. Okay, while I'm outside, I'll go ahead and show you now that they do have an awning on this model. But what I find to be pretty impressive, folks, is it has 15 inch tires on it for a single axle. So it has a 225, 75, or 15 size tires on it. It also has only one step. And what you will find on my videos is I tell you the good and bad. I do wish that this had two steps to get in, but it only has one. So uh, let's get on inside here. Folks, if you have never watched one of my videos before, I'm gonna tell you, I do not just go through and tell you the good of an RV or just the bad. I will tell you as I see it, I will tell you everything that I notice about it good and bad so uh, let me take just a moment here so I can close the door and keep some of the street sound out okay I tried to close the door folks because we are right next to a five lane highway out here so there is going to be some traffic noise but when I closed the uh, the door it made it so dark in here I could not get a good uh, video for you guys so uh, we're gonna have to deal with a little bit of noise today anyway as I told you this is a toy hauler so uh, let me try to step back and show you how much storage room you have in this thing. Looks like you could easily get a couple of, couple of motorcycles in here. Um, from the back gate all the way to the wheel well down here, which is going to be your furthest point, it looks to me like that is right at about six foot. This um, right beside this half dinette you also have a wall here and it looks like it's about five foot six from that point to the door so that's going to be your furthest point of availability and storage as far as right next to the walls now you can actually pull straight forward and get more into the kitchen and folks you could get 10 12 foot up in here like if you wanted to lay plywood or uh, some lumber or something of that nature in here. It is a toy hauler. It is meant to haul stuff with so if somebody thinks it's kind of funny I'm saying haul lumber in here. That's what this thing's made to do. It is designed to haul So uh, anyway, let me go over some of the points of, of interest in here We do have the uh, HVAC here in the, uh, the ceiling actually it's uh, I believe this is just an air conditioning. Yes, it is, folks. The heat is actually right under the kitchen area. So this is a HVAC by Dometic. And uh, right here over the couch, half dinette set, you've got, uh, you've got one uh, cabinet area. To, you know, it'd be a good area for like if this, if you hauled motorcycles and stuff, you could keep your, your motor oils and uh, maybe a little bit of tools in there, whatever and that feels pretty stable so it you could not put tools in there guys I'm, I won't tell you the sides of it feels pretty good but the bottom feels pretty weak so that right there would be a good storage to put uh, you know a couple of gallons of antifreeze or something like that in there but uh, you would not want to put anything real heavy so let me sit down at the table and let you know what I think about that this cushion's not too bad. It, uh, I'm gonna give that about a, about a six out of 10. For an RV, that's not bad. This table is actually fairly sturdy. And uh, 
I know I know they put this in here for you to eat on it but I know that if somebody buys this as a model that they're gonna work on stuff and travel and maybe uh, go to Harley shows or dirt bike uh, events they're probably going to use that table to work on something and I'm gonna tell you it's it's fairly stable so it's it's not something you would definitely want to set an engine up there but you could definitely work on something smaller so a uh, carburetor or whatever uh, definitely okay for that again I'm gonna to try to show you this thing from from my point of view I'm sure a lot of people don't talk about that stuff you've got a uh, got three areas of storage in here so where you can store some stuff and again I would not say that that is a very stable type shelving to actually use you could however add some shelves in there of your own to make a, a lot stiffer setup and personally that's the first thing I would do that uh, this is right over the wheel well so uh, you you're not losing anything you could possibly use that for your clothing storage but uh, if you wanted to use that for storage of uh, tools or anything of that nature you're definitely going to have to change it out it does have a therm thermostat or uh, yeah for your uh, HVAC so that's kind of neat to see that and uh, the position of it you can get to it real easy even if you had a couple of bikes in here or four wheeler or whatever now uh into the shower system got a standard uh toilet in here and uh you've got one of these it's a skylight there is no fan i would highly recommend taking that out and have a max air fan installed that's a great thing to do when you are negotiating with your uh, your salesman. That's one of the first things I would ask for is to get that removed and upgrade to a uh, much better fan system. <laughs> and I'm in the shower right now at six foot one, and this is what's going on. I, again, I like to show you everything about this so that you can shop from home and see what your uh, see what works for you and what doesn't you could probably crouch down a little bit do your hair like you need to stand back up do whatever you need to do to get your bathing done but uh anyway i just wanted to point that out to you folks i am not familiar with this particular shower unit uh so i i could not tell you whether it's good about uh not leaking into the floor or good or bad so uh, that is something that you may want to ask about, but uh, that's, that's a design I am not used to seeing. That's only a shower. It's, uh, the basin is only about three inches deep there, folks. Okay, as I mentioned earlier, this does have a heating system in here, so that's what we're looking at here. And uh, you also have a drawer for some storage put your uh, put a little bit of silverware tin foil and that kind of thing you also have a two burner uh, cooktop i do like that it does have some countertop it does have the domestic fridge and it does open from this side so if you came in here to get you a drink and you came from outside it is as you enter the kitchen so at least they thought of thought of you to put it on the correct side the uh, there's a cabinet door here and you've got only half of that door system is actually storage that bottom half is uh, is closed off I assume there's electronics or something underneath there so uh, pretty deep uh, kitchen sink and uh, you've got storage up above as well so uh, let me show you that folks I do not have any lights on in here and that is one of the drawbacks of me not working for this place and me showing it from you from my point of view is I do not have a way to have electricity in here but uh, I do like to show you as I see it just the same as you would see it if you came here to look at it yourself but uh, anyway I, 
I do like this countertop. I like that they gave you a plug on the countertop. Also, uh, getting into the bedroom area, you've got a you've got a window on each side of the bed, and you've also got three cabinets up here for storage. And it looks like they go back about 16 inches deep, but it does have a slope like a curved uh, storage area, so that does cut it back a little bit, but you could still get a, a good size pair of boots to stand up in there. So let me try to get on the bed and I'll let you know about it. Ugh. Hope you like your mattress firm. Ugh. Well, they all come firm, but at least I fit. So I got, man, I got about a foot that I can hang off the bed there. So, uh, I, I do like that. I have been in many RVs and none of them have good mattresses. Ugh, that ought to be a sin. Woo! <laughs> Woo, man, I tell you what. It's amazing how this, the top of this mattress is almost like a, uh, it's like animal fur. And it even says something about teddy. It says bunk series teddy bear. I gotta show you this. See that? Teddy bear bunk series. And this is just like fur. It's so soft to the touch. And who knows? It may sleep pretty well. I mean, it is... It is firm, they're all firm. But the good of it is you can always add some uh, some foam cushion to it. That's what we've done on our RV. We've got about two inches of foam cushion added to it and it sleeps okay. I mean, ours is just as hard as this one. It's just as hard as any of them. So you go to Walmart, you spend about a hundred bucks and then now you've got a uh, pillow top cushion uh, feel to it. So uh, that's what we've done on ours and I'm sure that's what a lot of other folks have done on theirs as well. Let me show you another part of the bed system. They did give you a little bit of room here just to get by the bed so that you've got a way to get over there just to try to make it up. But uh, I do see that that would be a little bit of... I, I'm not crazy about that layout. What I'm trying to say is you're, you're kind of boxed in this area. If you like to hang your leg off of the bed, and that's what I do, you would only be able to hang it off this one side here. It's very likely that you could bang your head on the side of this at night when you're trying to sleep. So again, I'm not just going to point out the good or the bad. I'm going to point out what I do see. If you're going to be looking at a toy hauler, you definitely need to know the rating of the axle. So let me get a little video clip of that so we'll have that sticker on hand. Okay, I got out here to the front side and it looks like we have us an electric power jack. We also have a hookup for one uh, propane bottle tank and uh, the battery tray only will hold one battery. So uh, let's go around the side here and see what, uh, see what we've got going on. Let me show you these stickers here and that way you can look and uh, pause this and read anything you need to see on here as far as capacities go. Uh, looks like the dry weight of this thing is in uh, kilograms. So uh, anyway, that's a lot of the information you'll be able to get off of the internet. But I just want to show you what stickers I find on here. Uh, it looks like the gross vehicle weight is 4,800 pounds. Uh, that is listed right here so uh, anyway let me go ahead and show you the rest of this so we do have uh, jacks all four corners you do have a uh, little storage area here and it is locked so I'm not able to open that for you but uh, the windows here are safety windows that if you're inside here and you get a fire, you can uh, undo this little red latch here and this window will come wide open. You can see that it's hinged up here at the top. If you're carrying some flammables in here, which, uh, you know, if you've got motorcycles or uh, our, uh, 
you know, four wheelers, that kind of thing, more than likely you're going to have some flammable stuff, so that's a good safety feature to have is that open window. The, uh, the pipe for your sewer system is right here in front of the tire. Uh, that's sometimes when you go to a campground, you're going to wish that it was behind the tire and a little closer to the back. So uh, anyway, I just want to point that out to you. Uh, that's that's something that I would like to see designed a little different, but it is what it is. Another thing I'm not real certain about why they did this, but there may be a good explanation. This corner jack, to me, should be on the corner, but it is probably four foot from the back. Well, the reason I feel like I would personally rather have that jack further to the back is that if you're going to be lowering that gate and letting a, uh, sorry about the traffic noise, if you're going to let down that gate and you're going to drive motorcycles or four wheelers up and down that gate, you want this, I would think, closer to the back. That's just my personal gut feeling. I could be wrong. Somebody who has an engineering degree could probably tell you more than I could. But to me, that just seems like that would give it a little more stable of a unloading system. So I'll take you back here and show you the back door. It does have a spring-loaded you can see that the back gate is spring-loaded. That helps you actually get the gate back up because this is going to be a heavy gate. Uh, I do not have a way to unlock or open that gate. So uh, <clears throat> anyway, we're going to have to have to show it to you as it is today. But uh, yeah, I mean, this is like any other RV. It's got its uh, pros and cons, but I really do like the price of this RV. To me, that's what uh, sets this one apart. Anytime you look at toy haulers, these things are not cheap. But uh, this price is definitely, definitely not a not a bad way to go. It's got a good aerodynamic front to it. Uh, pretty roomy model. You know, you wouldn't have to use it as a toy hauler. You could. Uh, you could actually change out furniture in here as roomy as this is. But there's the price of it, folks. $14,500. And uh, here is the model number again. It's a 180 RT by Forest River. It is a Salem Cruise Light FSX series. the uh, dealership phone number and website if you'd like to go check them out and uh, give them a call if you have any questions about it so thanks again for watching folks that's all I've got for this edition but a uh, pretty cool little camper here so uh, hopefully this helped y'all out if, uh, if you've been looking for one here's one right here not a bad price got a few things you might want to change out on it but uh, and probably wouldn't hurt to kind of make this thing special the way you need it and want it. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks. Y'all hit the like and subscribe and all that great stuff, and I'll see y'all soon. Take care. Bye-bye.